Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a hot topic that's been buzzing around in the financial world, floating the Iraqi dinar. This concept has been making waves as a potential solution to Iraq's ongoing currency crisis, but what does it really mean? Let's break it down. So what exactly is floating the currency? In simple terms, floating a currency means that the value of the currency is determined by the free market, by the forces of supply and demand, rather than being fixed by the government or central bank. In a floating exchange rate system, the currency's value can fluctuate based on a variety of factors like economic conditions, market sentiment, and geopolitical events. There are two main types of currency floating, absolute floating and managed floating. With absolute floating, the exchange rate is completely determined by the market with no interference from the central bank or government. The value of the currency can go up or down purely based on how much people want to buy or sell it. This type of system is used by many developed economies like the US dollar or the euro, where the market is left to decide the currency's value. However, in many countries, including Iraq, there's a different approach called managed floating. This is where the central bank or government steps in occasionally to influence the exchange rate. For instance, if the currency is losing value too quickly and causing inflation, the central bank might step in to buy up the currency, stabilizing its value. On the flip side, if the currency is gaining value too rapidly, making exports more expensive, the central bank might sell off some of the currency to bring its value down. Now, let's talk about why Iraq is considering floating its dinar. Iraq has been facing a significant economic challenge with the high exchange rate of the dollar. This has led to a crisis where the Iraqi dinar is struggling to hold its value, making imports more expensive and putting a strain on the everyday lives of Iraqi citizens. By floating the currency, some economists believe that Iraq could stabilize its economy by letting the market find the dinar's true value. The idea is that once the currency is left to the market, it could find a balance where it's more reflective of Iraq's economic realities. It could potentially lead to a stronger dinar if the economy strengthens, or it could find a more stable level that makes imports more affordable and helps control inflation. However, there are also risks involved. If the dinar were to float freely, without sufficient reserves or economic strength to back it, it could lead to excessive volatility. The currency might devalue rapidly, leading to runaway inflation, which would be devastating for the economy and the people. 